The COVID-19 pandemic has led to one of the most significant scientific efforts ever witnessed worldwide in trying to fight a disease. Billions of pounds is being spent on trying to find a vaccine, cure or other medical procedure to combat the virus. One of the most exciting areas of research is in blood plasma, which, if taken from patients who have survived coronavirus, could be crucial in helping others suffering from the disease. Dr. Michael Joyner, who is leading US efforts to research blood plasma or antibodies from patients who have survived COVID-19, tells The Sun Online how his research can be used in the global fight against coronavirus. Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Joyner of the Mayo Clinic. I lead the United States National Convalescent Plasma Expanded Access Program. The purpose of this program is to harvest plasma from patients who have recovered from COVID-19 disease and transfer this antibody-rich substance to individuals with active COVID-19 disease. We hope that by transferring antibodies, we will help infected patients recover more quickly. We uh, have transfused roughly 700 patients in the United States as of Sunday evening. We see no major early signs of toxicity or safety issues. We have some interesting anecdotal reports of success, but it is far too soon uh, to tell, and we need to do rigorous analysis and comparisons to ensure uh, that treatment is working and to understand the best use cases uh, for this therapy. Uh, results from these comparisons should be available hopefully uh, later this month on a preliminary basis and more thorough analysis in May and June. Uh, the role of convalescent plasma and also passive immunity via other strategies, in other words, transferring antibodies uh, to sick patients, could potentially help uh, fight COVID-19 disease as the pandemic continues. We believe it might uh, be useful in preventing intensive care unit admission uh, for sick patients who are otherwise on a hospital ward, and it may also help uh, shorten the time in the ICU for selected patients in the ICU. Uh, convalescent plasma and passive immunity strategies may also be helpful to protect healthcare workers uh, uh, from getting the disease in the first place and also other vulnerable populations. Uh, people need to recognize that after the first wave of disease is over, there are likely to be second and third waves and smoldering cases with occasional outbreaks and hotspots. Uh, convalescent plasma therapy and passive immunity via hyperimmune globulins and other strategies will also be useful uh, in this con these contexts. We see uh, this whole strategy as a stopgap biological uh, approach to treat COVID-19 disease. It complements public health strategies and we await uh, vaccination and, and other uh, key uh, new medicines that may be effective in uh, wiping out the disease more generally. So we are optimistic, but our uh, training as scientists requires the members of the group to be um, at least somewhat skeptical or at least retain our objectivity while we evaluate the data.